Here on Hamster Thursday, we've covered hamster raising simulations, five of them to be exact. We covered whatever the hell that Hamtaro thing was. And now, thanks as always to Felicity in Worcestershire, she of the massive box of Japanese hamster games, we have a falling block puzzle game with hamsters. Because why the hell not? Here's Hamster Club Awasete Chu, which features numbers, hamsters, and if you don't use your screen altering bombs, a jaded ex-girlfriend who pelts you with sunflower seeds. Which, you know, should be a good thing if you're a hamster. Unfortunately, in the rubric of falling block puzzle games, they just get in the way, like those clear poyos or those timer blocks in Puzzle Fighter. Um, so, yeah. Blocks fall, people die if they get all the way up to that input shaft up there. The blocks, numbered 1 through 2 plus X, where X is the numerical value of the difficulty setting, come down and you have to connect at least three of them to clear them off. Also included in the mix are character blocks, representing the particular hamster you've taken as a mascot for that round. Clearing a combination of these yields a bomb, which collects in the corner of that character portrait right there. So long as you're spending them, which turns a chunk of the collected pile into one color, you're in good shape. Get too miserly with them though, and Josephine the Troublemaker shows up and makes it rain. Sunflower seeds. Which is unfortunate because sunflower seeds are totally Derek's thing. I'm a cashew man myself. And that's pretty much the size of it. There's one game mode and a two-player version if you happen to find someone else in this hemisphere with a copy of Hamster Club and a Game Boy Color and a link cable. Frankly, I'm not holding my breath. This right here is the reason DS Download Play is so wonderful. So you can spread the hamster-tinged absurdity among your friends with abandon. In lieu of that, while well, it's a functional puzzler, even if the controls through the Game Boy Player can be a little wonky. There are even tricks like knocking the first block off of a particular piece, then moving the rest as it continues to fall. Clever, there's some tricky timing involved. As well as a couple pleas to the deity of your choice that you can still rotate it after that. But it's all in the name of... Hamsters. Well, maybe not. There's just a patina of hamsters over top of what would otherwise be a $1 indie game, or less. Low rent though it may be, there's still a decent game underneath all the sunflower seed shells. Again, a situation I run into with Derek all too often. And once the speed starts ramping up, as it has a habit of doing at certain intervals just to put the pressure on, it's an all-out frenzy to stay alive. And not be subjected to the game over screen of a hamster chewing on himself. Ew. 